hello everyone welcome back to this youtube channel so in today's video i want to be showing you guys how to translate 168 application so uh, you may pay attention closely so that you understand exactly what i'm doing on my screen and then you just practice the same thing on your own screen so first of all you are going to uh, install this application and this method is actually going to work for both iphone and ios you're going to go to your app store and then you install an application called um, Google Translate app. Google Translate app. Now, for those of you attending my master classes, I already sent this application on that master class. And if you have downloaded, you just uh, skip the downloading part and then you go to the using it. So my Google Translate app is ready, and I'm going to tap on open. So this is what you are going to have now there are two main methods in which you are going to translate on this particular application now before you do anything you may like to set up the translating languages so the translating language by the left where you are seeing english here that is the input language so you're going to tap on that english and then you select you search for chinese uh chinese language so you can see chinese there and then this side where you see spanish you're going to click on it and then you select english just search for english you're going to see it okay meaning you are translating from chinese to english okay now if you want to translate from english to chinese you just click this uh, these two arrows in between and the language is going to sh uh, swift let's say you are typing a text from english to go and send it to a chinese person then you change it like this but if you are translating a chinese language to english then you leave it this way now that is the first method of translating using this uh, i mean the setting up of this google translate app now to translate on this google translate app you are going to head over to 1688 application so you open it and then if you come across any page that you want to translate if you come across any page that you want to translate let's say i want to buy this watch now i don't understand what the supplier is talking about this watch on this particular page so i will just take a screenshot okay so if i take a screenshot like this i'm going to head over to my google translate app and then i will click this camera icon here and then now we instead of clicking on open camera i will now click on this image button or this five button here by the left this gallery button rather okay it's not going through so first of all click to open camera first so you allow it to access your phone and then I'm going to now click on this gallery icon here. So it's asking permission to access my media. So I will just click access. And then you can see from here, this is a screenshot I took. So I will now upload it. And boom, you can see that this thing has been translated to English. And then I will just from here scroll up and down to read everything that I have here. Now this method works on uh, both iPhone and I, I mean iPhone and Android. So it works perfectly on both iPhone and Android. So now without wasting time, I want to be heading over. So for iPhone user, this is the only method that you're going to use for translating. And Android for Android user, you have you have advantage of using this and another application which I'm going to be showing now. So for Android users, you have a second application here known as High Translate App. So the High Translate App, it actually helps you to do unpaid translation. So there is a difference. Um, for Google Translate App, you use it for off-page translation. For High Translate, you do on-page translation. That means you do it right on that page without having to go back and from uh the app so without wasting time when you type um high translate app here and then you see it there so this is the application the exact one that says high translate that stuff you are seeing the screen tra uh, screen translation that is a uh, that is a sponsored advert 
and you may not like to go for that because that is not what you are looking for so you look for this second one down here depending on how it appears on your screenshot but ensure is bearing high and then what translate so i'm going to click on install So I'm going to click on open. And then this is what they are showing. They are just demonstrating how it functions. So I'm going to just give some few minutes. Okay, you can see this button just pop up here saying we should grant permission. So I'm going to click on grant permission. So it's going to take me here. So then they are asking me to allow the app to draw over other apps. And then I'm going to check mark this stuff here and then i will step back and boom this is what you have the user consent high translate need accessibility settings to get text anywhere on the screen in order to run screen translation da 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 so i'm going to click on accept because there is a basic function of this particular application now this is where you need to pay close attention this is where you need to pay close attention now they're demonstrating where you need to allow high translate so that you'll be able to draw over other apps and then you give it accessibility settings or you turn it on so that it can function well so i'm going to tap on my screen to go away with that to do away with that and then i'm going to come down here and then i will look down my screen and then i'll click on high translate i will now turn it on i will click ok and boom you can see it over here it's drawing over other apps already now when we return back to high translate application which is here and one thing you may like to do very very important is to click on this hindi here this change the hindi language to chinese language just type and search for chinese chinese so if you see Chinese Taiwan and the other Chinese, then you click the other one. If you see Chinese Simplified, click on Chinese Simplified. If you don't see it, just select Chinese only. Now, meaning that you are translating from Chinese to what? English. As simple as that. That is just everything about uh, high translate setup. Now, I'm going to head over to my 168 application. And then I will open it like this and then we are going to start the work immediately now i'm yet to log in on this particular phone uh and i'm not going to log in i'm just using it for tutorial purpose and then i will just open any random page here uh what i basically want to do is to use the high translate so that you guys can understand how it functions so i'm going to tap on the high translate and then i will click on first of all there is a drag and translate option which you have here so if you drag it over any text it is going to translate can you see that so that is how it functions i'm going to still drag it over another text to be delivered pending payment when you are adding product to cart and then you process the order that is where they stand on pending payment the second one here is the world where this where your order come immediately after you have paid for them they will be pending uh they will be under to be delivered and then here after they have send the order it will be under to be received so all these things you are going to learn them later on. i'm just showing you the translation so that is how it functions so that is just how you are going to use the high translate so if you get value from this video you may consider smashing the like button subscribe and turn on notifications so that anytime i post a new video you're going to get notified